Now, I want to circle back shortly before we get to China on uh, the Holy Sepulchre. The Holy Sepulchre is yes. the tomb of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where he was buried. He rose on the third day. You were just in the Holy Land. I've been to the Holy Land. It's probably one of the most yes. moving things I've ever... Were you able to go to Mass at the Holy Sepulchre? We were not able to go to Mass. Okay. We didn't, Did you uh, to go we weren't in? able to time it out right. Did you go in? Oh, we went numerous times on this trip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. It's powerful. Any any thoughts from that so experience? So we went in... We went and uh, we just did, we did a whole Sunday special, hour long special on this on, on the podcast, uh, myself and my brother. So we performed the entire rite of the Stations of the Cross at the actual Stations of the Cross mm -hmm. on the Villa Dolorosa yep. leading up to it with the merchants coming behind us and the tourists and the pilgrims and, <laughs> and guys, yelling, and you can, we see us on video doing this because we didn't even care, just on our knees with the booklet out and everything. And the final four stations of the cross that for folks who haven't gone yet, um, they're within, they're located within the church of the Holy Sepulchre. When we walked into the church for the first time on that trip, uh, my father was with us. We brought, had my dad, we had my mom, uh, my little boys, my brother, my wife, her sister, and the stone of unction is right there. Um, this is the slab where our Lord's body was, was laying. And my dad, he's one of these guys where he doesn't, he doesn't show emotion. You know, he's from that generation. He's, you know, you don't, you know, you gotta be tough. You gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, maintain your poise at all times kind of guy. Right. He knelt down and, and, and my dad's knees aren't great, but he knelt down in front of that and put his hand out and he just started crying. Mm -hmm. He just started crying. For, and I, I, I couldn't even look at him. I couldn't even, cause I know to my father what it meant, what level of emotion must have welled up within him to be in the presence of where our Lord's body lay. Well, of course, his spirit was descending into hell at the time into the limbo that where the sacrifice was played out. And, um, I get it. I would, uh, I would go on a crusade for that place too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And then up just up the stairs, there's Golgotha. Did you put your hand down the yes. hole? Of course. Yeah. So under the altar, there's a hole so you, you put. You, and you have to kneel. You yes. got it. You got it. A penitent man will pass. You have to get down low on your That's knees, right. and you put your hand. You can feel down the down into the rock where the cross stood, and you can put a rosary so we, down right, there. So we you took can, it out there, and then my my uh, my <laughs> my four year old and my one year old, of course, they didn't have to kneel very far. But, right. You know, we got them up and. Uh, and they went under and they touched it. And, you know, even for them, I think at that age, I connected it with them. And I said, hey, remember I told you when, when Jesus was in the tomb and then he was in his grave and how long was it? He was there for three days, daddy. And then what happened? Well, then he came out. Why? Because God, God made him better. God brought him back. Yeah. Said, yes, that's right. Yeah. And so he's, you know, he's remembering what I've told him. But I think as he, as he gets older and we go to, you know, any church that we're at, of course, one thing that you always see, and I remember always seeing from growing up, and in, in the Philadelphia area, we've got these beautiful yeah. old Catholic churches with the marble, with the granite everywhere, and these glorious depictions of the Stations of the Cross. So I always remember growing up and just looking at those during the Mass. Of course, I'm supposed to be paying attention and reflecting on our Lord's passion, the, the right. passion, right? And then to have my son have actually walked those very steps at both of my sons at such a young age, you know, they'll actually have a memory. And of course, because we have this great technology now to be able to see it, we've got video footage of it. We've got, I made a whole special about it. Um, but then we've kept all the raw footage for ourselves, all the photos. And so they'll always have that for their entire lives. And I just highly recommend to anybody that if you have a chance, if you have the ability, whether it's on your own or whether you're on a, a guided tour, just, just go, just do it. Yep. I, I read, I led a tour. I'll be doing another one, not 2023, but probably 2024. And we, we do the Via Dolorosa and we do everything. I mean, Gal, I mean, I'm sure you did Galilee, you did all, I mean, it's just, we did Galilee. Yeah. I mean, they say we did Galilee, Galilee is we like did Masada, reading Nazareth. the fifth gospel. Yeah. Because suddenly everything you've read and heard from the Bible, you're there. And it just, I don't know, it just changes every everything, every way you, you read it, hear it. And even now, like I'm in church and I hear lessons and at the gallery, I, I can see it in my mind. I was there, you know.